we'll be looking at today is the review on how to set up the application, how to set up the, the how to where to install, put your coordinate, your your base station coordinate, your station coordinate as the remote end coordinate. Also, we'll also be discussing about how to configure uh, the radio equipment we want to use. Maybe it is a five gigahertz radio frequency, or maybe it is a high capacity radio frequency. And I'm talking about licensed radio frequency. So all that we'll be looking to today. We'll also be looking on how to set the transmit power, how to set the antenna, how to set the um, how to set the the antenna and how what the uh, azimuth or frame zone look like and the most important area where we need to actually focus on when it comes to this application for us to have the best of results. Thank you. Let's dive in. And uh, what I want to do, like I said in the review, is that I just want to see how we can set up this device today. Uh, there are just about five locations I will be visiting in, all, in, for, in order for us to actually see how to negate or how to explore this application for us to get the best use of it. So number one area to go is, is unit property. The unit property this is where you set your base station configuration and your remote configuration. For instance, if I want to use these are the defaults, these are the default configuration that comes with the application. So if, if any one of these applications we want to use, all we need to do is just do a modification of each unit. You don't you just neglect this default base, the the mobile and HH. For the, they will not give you the best results. Start from unit four downward. So for the purpose of this review. We, we can just use um, unit 4, you can change it to a base, base station, sorry, base station, and uh, you click longitude and latitude. So under this longitude and latitude now, so we here, what we need to do is just for us to input our, our coordinates of this particular location. That is what we need to do. So here, the coordinate I will be using here is 06, um, 37, and the next available one is 28.1. Why the one that the following the longitude will be 003, um, 29, and 22.2. After all these have been inputted, and uh, it's also give us the decimal, um, decimal. A coordinate type. This is the this is the uh, decimal format of the longitude and the latitude. So when we've seen all this, what we just need to do is just do OK it and OK at this location. OK. Also, then when we want to the set the the remote location, which is the this the the customer's end location or the remote end of Whichever name you want to call it, you can call it uh, location A, which is the location A is a base station, and location B could be the remote end or the customer name you want to want to call it. For the purpose of this review, I will just use a uh, customer's end, customer's end, customer's end. So and I'll input the uh, the the coordinates of that uh, customer. So. For this uh, customer, I will use the frequency 06, 0640, 32.6. Why the longitude is 003, um, 30, 50.0. After that has been done, we do OK it and we OK this location too. So that is the first, when working with a radio mobile, that is the first thing you have to do. So the next thing to do is for us to go to the network property. When you over over it, it will show you, let me close this first. 
when you over over it it will show you what this toolbar is all about this is network property so when you click on it this is what it will bring so for the purpose of this uh, review or training what i will be configuring on this I will be configuring on this particular network property is uh, on licensed radio frequency so if you are familiar with networking and telecom telecommunication you know that we have the license radio frequency and we have on license radio frequency so what i will be configuring here is on license radio frequency our license radio frequency start from 5.1 gigahertz to 5.8 gigahertz so with that said so our base here our 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 minimum frequency will start from 5100, which is 5.1 gigahertz, while our maximum frequency will be 5800, which is 5.8 gigahertz. Every other, every other thing here remains the same. We go to topology, the topology remains the same. We go to membership. If we look at this membership, let me just emphasize one or two things here on the membership membership area. You know, when we first move down to this particular here, particular location where you have this tower logo, we set up our base station and set up our customer end um, coordinate. So what that does is that the uh, all those things we've configured, we'll see it. If you don't configure those two things at the first stage, we will not see these two uh, location here. What that is telling us is that membership allow us to create relationship between base station and customers end. And um, when you say base station here, it will allow us to choose the command. That means that we are transmitting from here. That's what that commands mean. And uh, and uh, we the customer's end is the slave the subordinate or we call it slave so we just here we have command which is master and the customer is subordinate which is the slave now uh, here the system is uh, the 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 we've not configured we've not configured this but we'll get there i will explain that to you too so that is all we need to do here so we have this mark we have the we have the base radio we have the base station and we have the customer hand. So let's move to the next available option. The next available option here is the system. Under the system, we need to configure the power, we need to configure the threshold, we need to configure the antenna again. So under this place now, we will be, for the purpose of this training, as I said that we will be using on license radio frequency. So what that means is that uh, we need to see how we configure on license radio frequency. But there are a lot of several, there are several radio frequencies that are available. But I will be using a particular vendor called Ubiquity. So they have different models of equipment. They have different products they are actually using. But I will only be using um, Power Beam 400 M5 series. So I will just post, I will write here power beam, power beam M, M5. Okay, let me use capital letter M5. And the transfer power is supposed to be set here, which is a 26 dB here, which will be converted to watts here. And here, the reservoir threshold here will be, should be minus 75 dB, which should be converted to uh, this micro, uh, Micro, micro volts here and uh, the line of sight remain let's just leave that as it is and um, antenna antenna type we will be using uh, this is a default but we'll be using cardio antenna antenna gain is um for this a uh, particular device is is 23 okay and uh, the antenna height is Less for the purpose of this training, antenna higher we can use 100 feet mast. 100 feet mast is 30 meter antenna, and the additional cable loss, let's just leave it for a zero for now. So we'll go to star under the star, everything will lead we allow this to be the way it is. Is we don't need to make any adjustments after all that has been said, we click OK. 
so now we go to map and uh, we need to do here is uh, we need to actually extract all the information that we have actually configured both at this location and at this unit property so we are now at um, map property here now we, we need to enable adjust unit elevation so that the the whole property and information from both location will be available then we match pictures for us to have data of both location at the same time so here here we first start with our base station extraction and uh, we click on um, extract before we extract i want us to widen the the okay let's let's leave let's increase the width of this pixel so that we can have more coverage let's increase this to 515 for for the radio mobile to actually be able to search long distance that is the essence of this 2000 okay and uh, we we, we click on extract so what this one for for you to actually have this you have to make sure that your internet is actually connected because the application is actually gathering data for what you are using so here now the this mini page is telling you that uh, which what how do you want your pictures to be how do you want your information to be displayed is it on internet or land cover or well, let me use the internet open street map here and i click on draw so when i click on draw it will fetch me the look these locations and i will see the available or i'll see the location of where i am if i'm actually right i'm actually at the right location or i'm not at the right location so what that is what this application does as you can see it actually fetch me the location i am these are this is my present location and it has actually bring me this particular location thank you so um uh just click ok here so the after after that has been done we go back to map property and we also drop down we, we extract for customer and also work to actually get the data information the data or information of that particular location too so we wait for the radio map application to extract the information at that particular location and we'll click ok all that data will be stored for each location from there we're able to actually work on uh work use this information to for to simulate uh, uh our site survey in order for us to present a good report to whoever might need it maybe the organization you are actually working with maybe your private project or for for the company that actually require it so this did not actually fetch the information i am looking for so i will run it again i'll come here customer end and extract i'll use streets it's loading here okay we have it now so this is the customer's location about form okay and um after that the next area we need to do is we need to we it's not actually necessary to show the unit but it's actually allow you to know what you're doing so you show the customer end and i can also okay sorry about that it can also you can the this is this is where we are now that is where it's showing it when we drag this bar up and down we'll find the uh the base station location somewhere okay for 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 not to waste our time okay this is the base station and this is a customer here you know, has this two bar is radio link so here this particular radio link this is where all the efforts we put into 
this application will actually come outside. So here we have to look at the transmitter, which is our base station. Okay, and we come here, um, our customer's end, and voila, we have a uh, our propagation here. So now this our uh, radio power beam M5 is a point-to-point -point connection, and we have power beam M5 also here for the remote end. So we are using the same radio at both location, same configuration. So we have our transmit power we configure as 26. We are line load 0 0.5, antenna gain 22.8, our radiated power I uh, EIRP is 7.1 watts, which apply to the same. So we are using the same antenna height. For instance, at, lo at the location A, we, might, we, can, we can vary antenna height. It does not matter how it is. If we have a 40 feet, we have 120, 120 feet antenna at our base station, that is about 40 meter. And we have here, you can see uh, this customer has uh, 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 maybe 32 meter of antenna. So it doesn't mean that they have to be uh, of the same height. They can, there can be a variation in their height. And this is the frequency we set 51.5 gigahertz to 58.8, 5.8 gigahertz and 5.1 gigahertz. And here is the most important information that we need most. For this thing, we need our azimuth. Our azimuth is 25.5 from base station. This azimuth also means the bearing of this place for the purpose. This this azimuth is very very important. When you click on swap, to give you the remote bearing, which is 205.30, 30 rather. It is very important. This is important because. Whenever, as a network engineer or you own the telecom company, you, you should know how to use the compass. So if you are traveling very far and you don't know your direction, it is this information that will guide you on how to use your compass to know where the direction of this link actually goes. So another most important information here is the clearance. Clearance. The clearance here is four. Here is saying is four. The clearance here to to okay let me why okay the clearance here is space between between this elevation above the sea level and the Fresnel zone. This is the Fresnel zone. This means that this is the signal, this transmission, the transmission path between location between location A and location B. Nothing must obstruct this part of Fresnel zone. This Fresnel zone, if this obstruction actually eats it, then there will not be any line of sight. Whenever in telecommunication and a, a radio mobile, radio frequency uh, site survey, what is the most important thing is what we call a line of sight. Whenever you hear a line of sight, a line of sight is when there's a free transmission of spectrum, okay? from here down to this place without any barrier okay so that is what that is another thing we need to know is the uh, our distance the distance between this location and this location is 6.30 kilometers okay and uh, our receive level is 64.4 uh, uh, what this what this thing is giving us is that by the time we install uh, this radio at our base station and we store this radio at the customer location the signal strength we probably will get is either plus plus two or minus two variation so what that is what this is telling us i think I, i've been able to cover the whole step involved in every mobile application i hope you enjoy it thank you Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is what is motivating us. Thank you and God bless.